Please get your authorized version of the scriptures. And please turn with me in the, to the book of Ephesians in the authorized version of the scriptures. Please follow me along word for word, verse by verse, in what we're going to be looking at. Um, it's very late this evening. Um, my wife is finally in bed, got, um, getting some sleep, praise the Lord. So I'm being quiet. So if, that's why my wife is asleep and I'm in the guest bedroom. But um, the Lord really convicted me about something that I said in the previous video. In the previous video, I referred to a couple of individuals as female dogs. And the context in which I used it, that was not right for me to do that. That was wrong for me to do that and to say that. Brethren, Church of the Living God, I publicly repent and ask you to forgive me for doing what is called censored cursing. There's no place for that upon the lips of one who has been called to be an example unto you. And forgive me, please, for giving you a poor example, for using cur um, censored cursing. I should not have done that. That was wrong. And there is no excuse and I will not make one. Please forgive me. I repent. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 29 on to verse 32. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger, because anger resteth in the bosom of fools, and clamor, clamorous, you know, like I always use the example of picture pots and pans clanking together, okay? and evil speaking. Be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Ephesians chapter five, verses 15 on to verse 21. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Yeah. And First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy chapter four. Verses twelve on to verse sixteen. Paul's instructions to Timothy. Let no man despise thy youth. But be thou 
an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. And as I have said, the example that I gave you in that previous video by what I said was a bad example. I should not have said that, and I repent of it. Please forgive me, brethren. Our time here is too short to be trifled with things and to resort to speaking as a heathen. There is no excuse for it. I was wrong and I publicly repent of that and I ask you, Church of the Living God, to forgive me. And on to the two individuals specifically. Um, I don't trust either of you. Um, I really don't trust the one of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But shh. I don't have the leisure to be bothered with these things. But on to the individuals. I was wrong for referring to you as such. I've been called to this position to live by an example for you. Now, you see me on this, and some of you have even met me and seen me outside, uh, you know, outside the door and in everyday uh, living and whatnot. Nonetheless, I repent. Please forgive me. I should not have said that. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself, and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. You know, brethren, like I said, there is no excuse, and I will not make one. I do have a pride problem. I do. And as you know, I do let my temper get the best of me. I refer to lost devils as scum. You can argue it's like, well, you know, the Lord called people vipers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, there is no excuse for myself to speak as a heathen. And again, I am sorry. Please forgive me of my sin. I repent. And I confess it to you, Church of the Living God, that I should not have done that. And while we're on this topic, let us examine ourselves. See, um, today the Lord and I were working on a video for Romans chapter 7. <laughs> oh, Oh, that's, oh, that's my favorite chapter in all of Scripture, Romans chapter 7. It's not going to be the entire chapter, but, um, you know, we were working on it today. Uh, I had plenty of time, actually, to work on it, and, uh, but never, never mind. Um, and in doing so, mm, mm, let us our, examine ourselves, brethren. How are we speaking? I know that there are some of you out there who will use um, censored cursing yourselves. I'm um, using the word C-R-A-P. Shouldn't be doing that. Nor should I have used female dogs. 
And um, we need to examine ourselves, brethren. Today was a very trying day for us here. And um, while, like I said, while working on that with the Lord, the Lord just, just, <laughs> just cut me to shreds over it. And also, too, like I've said, I've, I've known several of the brethren who also will do things like that using censored cursing. It's not right. It's not right. And we need to check ourselves. We need to check ourselves. Praise the Lord that he got on me today about it. And um, I praise him for it. Because like I said, brethren, the Lord has put me into this position to be an example. And like I said too, I don't have leisure to be bothered by what some very devout disciples think of me. Or how they ignorantly make false accusations. I haven't got the leisure for that. I haven't got the leisure for that. And there is, like I said, there is no excuse for what I have done and using that kind of language. And I publicly repent again. Please forgive me. I'm accountable to our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, but I am accountable to the Church of the Living God. And if you're not of the Church of the Living God, I'm not accountable to you. The video in which I did this, um, the previous video, um, Can the Real Come from the False, is not going to be removed. Rather, this video is going to be put in the very top of the description box. So when someone clicks on it, they will say, what's this? And th that video, the previous video, will be in this video. Okay. I might find a timestamp for it, might not, but regardless, the this video is going to be in the previous video, and the previous video is going to be in this video in the description box, okay? The previous video is not going to be deleted. Why, Brad? I'm fallible. I make mistakes. And when I make mistakes, and the Lord corrects me on them, this is what happens. Swallow my pride and humble myself before the Church of the Living God. It's important that you, that you see. It's important that you see my mistakes. It's very important that you see that. Why? To show you that I am no better than any of you. I am not better than any of you. I am a sinner who is chief, dear brethren. I've made many mistakes. And the mistakes that I have made, I have publicly repented and corrected them. And those videos can be found on the, on the channel here. And in all of them, in all of them, there is a video saying, hey, like the video, you'll click on it and somewhere in the description box, usually up top. It's like, I made an error in this video or I did this. Here's the correction. Here's me repenting of it. It's important that you see my mistakes. It's important that you see my mistakes. And it's also important that you see my corrections. Very important. Why? Because I'm supposed to be an example. And being an example, I take full responsibility and accountability for what I said. And again, it was wrong. 
please, Church of the Living God, forgive me. And get on me about these things. I have to remove these words from my vocabulary. Calling devils scum. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, the stigma of being named a devil is bad enough. Let's, brethren, together, make sure that our speech lines up with Scripture. Because you know what, brethren, in the previous video, for those, those two words, those two words, in the context I use them, it's not good. It was wrong. It was wrong. Learn from this example of what not to do. Okay? Okay? And now that's here. We move forward. Okay? That's how it works. See, devil's out there and false converts want to keep you here. Move forward. Move forward. So, like I said, it's, it's very late. We had a trying day, my wife and I. Thank you, brethren, for your prayers. We, we desperately need them. Um, things are getting worse for my wife, unfortunately. Unfortunately, and um, please keep us in your prayers. You know, like I've always told you, I have a pride problem, and that's not an excuse. And I let my temper get the best of me. And I, I, I can't let that happen. But um, not gonna not gonna get into anything deep, because uh, that Lord willing, that's coming on uh, Monday or Tuesday. Coming Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Romans chapter seven, verse fifteen. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. <laughs> and this is a faithful saying, worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came in the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for your prayers. Again, please forgive me. Lord has put me here to be an example unto you. And that was a bad example. Oh, wow, was it ever. I repent of it and please forgive me, brethren. So, see you in the next video.